Alright, so self-esteem seems to be like a big issue for a lot of girls that are really, really young, like maybe 11 to 12 or so, and th they're starting to start up middle school or they're ending um, elementary school and they're going into middle school and then everything just starts changing after that. And a lot of girls, they start... Um, how would I put this? They start thinking about looks instead of what's really inside themselves. Uh, if I mean, here, here's something right here that shows you this. I'm able to put my face out on the internet with completely no makeup on. I have n no such thing as perfect skin. I have wrinkles on my forehead because I am so animated with my facial structure. I have under eye circles. I have like, look, my hair is, ugh, I don't know what it's doing right now, but it's, it's short. It's not, like, beautiful long hair, but I work with it. I'm, I'm in a track suit, you know, I'm, I don't feel good right now also, you know, but I still have that courage to put myself out there on the internet because I seriously don't care what people think. My imperfections are what make me beautiful and if someone doesn't see my imperfection as beautiful, but they see the only thing that makes people beautiful is the materialistic things in life, like having a porcelain face, which is not, one, even achievable in the sense of anything. People have really deep pores that you don't see because of lighting on YouTube. You know, I, I don't understand why these girls are obsessing over what other people think of them. Because really, it's only... The only thing that matters at the end of the day is what you think about yourself, not anybody else. You are beautiful in your own way. I think everybody needs to realize that. Your eye color could be the most stunning color ever, but people will look at it because they're jealous of it, you know? People people are jealous of so many things. I know I'm jealous of a couple of people that I on YouTube. Like, seriously, I'm like, dang, she's gorgeous. But I don't sit there and, you know, say, you know, ooh, man, I wish I had that days but then you know I think about it I'm like well she's kind of like me she has imperfections as well I don't know the it just does not make sense to me because everyone's beautiful it, they really are I see some gorgeous women every single day coming into my work all the time these gorgeous gorgeous women and I I can't see through it it's it's just so fake they're plastered on with mac heavy studio fix concealers they have such like plumped up lips it, it's just not beautiful to me like seeing that is like seeing a train wreck it really is um i do see a lot of women that come in that have no makeup on completely no makeup on they have a little bit of acne they have a little bit of under eye circles but they're still very gorgeous you know i'm i'm just saying that you don't need things to feel beautiful about yourself like materialistic things, but the things you do need to feel beautiful about yourself are your friends, your family, a dog or a cat, man. My 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 cats always talk to me and whenever like they're talking to me, I always think they're meowing like, Oh, you're so lovely, I love you so much. But in reality I know they're saying I hate you, I hate you very much. Because really if you see my videos, they're tortured. N not like that in the sense of it, but you know, they they don't like me as much. Well, they do like me because I feed them. But, you know, I, I I, just don't see why everybody stresses out over certain things being materialistic. You're not ugly. No one is ugly. I, I don't see... Who, who has the opinion to say that you're ugly? Because somebody else might think that you're ugly. You know, it's, it's all a matter of opinion, though. But you have to write that... You have to wipe that opinion away from anything that anybody says. You know, it's, it's just something that you have to do um, to make you feel even better about yourself. Seriously, just sit in the mirror. No makeup on. Your hair's not done. Nothing. Sit in the mirror. Look at yourself. Write what you like about yourself. Because seriously, even though you got acne going on and you got your... Well, I got my acne going on, my under eye circles, you know, my wrinkles... I will put down there, I like my natural hair color. You know why? Because one, I haven't seen my natural hair color in over five or six years. You know, and look, it's already starting to come back in. So I would write down, I love my natural hair color. 
because one, it's really soft now. My hair is super soft now. Two, I like my nose. It's not too big and it's not too small. Secondly, I love my small lips. You know why? Because they don't look very fake. Because seriously, I see some girls that have gorgeous lips, but then they put on that puckering stuff and it's just like, like it's, it's, it's not, it's not pretty though, but people think that's pretty. Just be yourself. Seriously, just love yourself as a person, as a whole, because if you love yourself, other people will start to love you even more. So that's kind of my two cents in on self-esteem and how to embrace it. And before I go, I know people are going to be like, well, what if I'm overweight? Don't even get me started on that. I see so many gorgeous women that are supposedly overweight because of what society claims it to be, but they're not overweight. They are healthy the way that they are. Like seriously, they are their their body is proportioned. They're not they don't look out of the like the ordinary or something like that. They're proportioned. As long as you eat right, you exercise daily, it does not matter what your body looks like. As long as you're happy with your body, no one else can tell you what you can and cannot do with your body. So, I'm going to go before this ends up being like a 20 minute long video. But I wanted to show you that if I'm able to put myself out on the internet with completely no makeup on, my hair done, not done, I don't know, wait, what? Yeah, not done, I'm in some tracksuit that's, I'm just being lazy, like, I don't feel good, I'm, I'm kind of sick right now that, you know, I still feel beautiful this way, that's the thing, I, I love myself enough to show the world that I don't mind putting myself out here like this, so, girls, just don't listen to anyone, listen to me, if anything, that you are beautiful, no one can tell you any differently, uh, I don't want to put religion out here in any form though, but your parents did make you the way you are and your parents are made you gorgeous. So, yes, um, I hope you all are having a wonderful and great day. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that this helps some of you ladies out there that are having terrible times in high school or middle school and things like that. Just realize the, you're going to grow up, you know. Just things are going to blossom for you, okay? All right. Love you so much. Mwah. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you all soon again. All right. Bye.